Have you ever wondered about the radio frequencies around you? What if there was a magic eye to see those radio frequencies? Presenting you the Spectrum Analyzer! What I'm showing you today is the Tiny SA Basic. There is a Tiny SA Ultra, however that one is much more expensive but also offers much more capabilities. It covers a range from 0.1 MHz to 960 MHz, 3 kHz to 600 kHz scanner resolution, 290 scan points on display, and 2.4 inch TFT screen, as well as a built in battery and frequency generator. In the package, you will receive the Tiny SA, two female SMA connectors, a male adapter, and an antenna, and a USB C cable. For today's demonstrations, I will use its low input with the antenna. So, here's the first look. I'm going to show you the menu and its function. So, we're going to start with frequency. This menu over here basically allows you to set or preset a certain window of frequency. So, let's say we want to look at radio frequencies, which is somewhere 80 megahertz. To 180 megahertz. Now we are looking at FM radio broadcast. Next we have the level. Here we can for example change the scale division or the unit. Here for example I am going to change the scale and you can see that it's slightly a bit higher simply because I have changed this division over here the height more or less. There are obviously other functions as well as the listen. The listen function basically allows you for external wires that you solder on to listen to such frequencies. Although the TinySA does not support FM demodulation. Then we have trace. Here you can basically add another trace, such as another line. That is for more advanced usage. Display is also a pretty important function. Here we can for example stop the sweep and add a waterfall. Now we get a time, amplitude, slash power and frequency graph. Of course, you can tap another time the waterfall and when you tap it again you basically get an even larger waterfall. Pressing it again will eliminate the waterfall. You also use big numbers over here which will represent the decibel. You can also add it to draw a line if you are interested to basically make sure or for certain measurements. We also have sweep accuracy but the sweep points are more important. This basically will make it also faster, but also less precise. Then, you can also rotate the display depending on how you want to hold it. Next, we have marker. The markers, you can add or remove markers. And that is once again, if you want just to mark certain peaks. Next, we have measure. Here you can do certain things. These are however also more advanced. Then we have configuration, which is also pretty important. Here we can for example do a touch test. Just to calibrate it, basically the touch calibration, sorry. And here you can uh, set it in such that you can also update the firmware. You can also do a self test and a level calibration, which I'm going to show you. To calibrate the tiny essay, you will need 
to use the male male adapter and connect the two given cables as such. Connect them with your tiny SA outputs and get to connect high with low. Just like that. And now here's the next step. First we're going to do a self-test and then a level calibration. Now we're going to go into configuration and do a self-test. Now it will run a self-test. Keep in mind that this is more or less a test, not a calibration, as I will show you the actual calibration. Now that that is over, it says touch screen to continue. And now we're going to go to configuration and do a level calibration. Now we're going to calibrate. Now we see that it says calibration complete. And we can also tap the screen to exit the calibration mode. Using my oscilloscope, I will create a 1 MHz signal. Now I will basically lay its output as an antenna and we are going to take a look. Here is the result of the tiny essay. And as you can see, it is pretty much 1 MHz, although it is slightly oscillating. Now we will do a final test. Let's test the frequency generator that the tiny essay has. My oscilloscope can unfortunately do up to 18 MHz. However, we can actually do, for example, 1 MHz as well. Now I'm going to turn it on. Going to... Ah, there we have. 1 MHz. Let's test 2 MHz. Nice. And we can do 5 MHz. Might increase you. 5 MHz. And now we're going to do the maximum that my oscilloscope can do, 18 MHz. We can see that it is in fact 18 MHz when set at 18 MHz. And unfortunately, once again, this is the maximum frequency that my oscilloscope can read. But we can confirm that the frequency generator of the tiny essay is also pretty reliable. The final test that I will do with this tiny essay to show you is with a walkie-talkie. Here, I have a walkie-talkie. I have centered this around 400 MHz to 470 MHz, and I will do the walkie-talkie at a distance. I'll press the talk. And as you can see, we have a peak, actually two peaks, which confirms our walkie-talkie. In my opinion, this is a very interesting and can also be a very useful tool, especially if you work more with radios. However, I bought it simply because I was curious to know more about radio frequencies and what really is going on in the spectrum. I will try to also do more experiments to show you any cool and fascinating things to look at using this tiny essay. So, although you might not get the highest precision of this, you do get what you pay for your money. And that's absolutely great, simply because it has many features. Anyways, I wish you a great day, and this was your boy, Photonic Luminous. Goodbye.